What's up, mga taong Gresa? Nandito na naman po tayo para magtsikahan ng tungkol sa mathematics na makikita natin sa physics. So, the last time, pinag-usapan natin yung ibig sabihin ng Gresa. Tapos, yung letter G sa Gresa, ang ibig sabihin nun ay given. Akala nyo, ganun-ganun lang yun. Basta-basta lang yun, ano? However, pwede natin actually ma-discuss further yung given para mas maging madali sa atin yung problem solving. So here, I'm going to start a 13-part discussion about what is a given. Ah, ma'am, bakit naman 13? Nakakaloka ka naman. Carry boom-boom bells lang yan, ano? Kasi mas maganda kung bite-sized yung information, di ba? Imaginein mo, adobo, manok, tapos isang buo, hindi hinate, di ba? Ang herap. Kainin, ang hirap, nguyain, ang effort. Kaya dapat bite size lang tayo, no? So, again, what is a given? So, ang given, Tagalog, di ba kapag sinabing, this is given to you, this one, ibig sabihin yung bagay na yun ay binigay o ipinagkaloob sa'yo. So, in short, ito ay mga bagay or information sa problem na ibinibigay sa iyo, ipinagkakaloob sa'yo, para magamit mo to come up with the final answer. Okay? Ayan. At kanino ba para ang mga given na to? Para sa'yo ang given na to. Sabi ni Manny Pacquiao. Char. Ayan. So, isa sa mga information na kailangan nating maintindihan ay kung ano ba ang format ng mga given kapag isinusulat natin when we are already doing problem solving. Ito yung First uh, format. Bakit mahalaga na may format para may pattern ka, may susundan ka? Di ba mas madali yun kapag may pattern? Ayan. So, unang-una is the symbol of the physical quantity or constant. Tapos, lalagyan mo ng equal sign. Sa equal sign, makikita doon ang magnitude, which is the numerical value. Tapos, is space, yung unit nung physical quantity na yon or nung constant na yon kama yung direction kapag vectors yung pinag-uusapan natin. More about vectors as we discuss the given. Mayroon tayong video para doon. Wait ka lang, okay? So, ito yung mga example, no? Yung letter V, ayan ay physical quantity, tapos equal sign, yung magnitude ay yung 3, tapos, yung unit ay meter per second. As you can see, wala itong direction. Ibig sabihin, hindi ito vector. Pangalawang example, F is equal to 66 newtons, comma, east. Yung E dyan is pertaining to east as a direction. So, yung F, that's the physical quantity. The 66 is the magnitude. The newton or the n is the unit. So, usually yung unit, naka-symbol form lang din. Okay? Tapos yung e, yung direction, which is also in symbol form. Pero pwede mo naman siyang buuin. Wala namang problema doon. Pwede mong gawing east. Yun nga lang, the shorter the better. But it is still better if the way you write the given is something that you understood. Okay? And then uh, the last example is k, lowercase k, that is a constant called Coulomb's constant. We will encounter that in our next, next, next topics when we go to Coulomb's law. Uh, the magnitude of that is 9 times 10 raised to 9. And then the unit is Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared. Mahaba, di ba? Yes, ganun talaga. Later on, mag-uusap din tayo ng tungkol sa unit. Paano nabubuo yung unit? Paano mo masasabi na unit? Ayun, but wait for that. May video din tayo para dyan. And since yung constant natin most of the time, ha, ang mga constant ay walang direction most of the time. And there are exemptions to the rule. And again, we are going to find out more about that soon enough. Okay? Next, next is format number two, which is, yung una ulit, isusulat mo is the symbol of the physical quantity or constant equals plus or minus sign, tapos magnitude or the numerical value, space a unit, okay? So this is applicable for charges 
and um, for uh, vectors. Okay, so sometimes instead of writing the direction of the vector, we can just write plus or minus. Uh, a specific uh, sign actually corresponds sa isa pang direction. So ito yung mga example natin, no? V equals, V is the uh, symbol for physical quantity, tapos negative 3, negative is the direction. So pwedeng uh, downward yan or uh, to the left. More of that when we discuss um, vectors, okay? And then the unit is meter per second, okay? And then F is equal to positive 66 newtons. So, ibig sabihin, uh, the force is going to a positive direction. And then, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, no? Na yung constant, pwede rin siyang magkaroon ng direction. Katulad nitong G, the G stands for acceleration due to gravity that is uh, considerably constant dito sa Earth. And that's equal to negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And then the negative is because gravitational attraction or gravitational acceleration is going downwards or relatively directed downward. Ayan, okay? So, yun yung mga format natin. Now, Pwede bang hindi na lang in symbol, madam? Kasi nakakaloka naman yun. Tatandaan pa namin yung mga symbol-symbol. Ang sagot, pwede ba? So instead na V equals negative 3 meters per second, isulat ko ng buo yung velocity. Pwede ba na instead na F, isulat ko yung buong force? Instead na G, isulat ko yung buong salitang acceleration due to gravity. Pwede ba yun? Pwede. Pero, hindi advisable. Bakit hindi advisable? Kasi ayoko, charot. Kitang-kita nyo naman, no? so, so, dito sa bandang velocity, ayan, tingnan mo. Okay, okay pa, maiksi pa. Eh, dito sa bandang force, ah, okay, okay pa, maiksi pa. Kaya lang, Beshi Cakes, tingnan mo naman to. Acceleration due to gravity, di ba parang ang haba niya masyado pag isusulat mo sa given, no? So, kaya siya hindi advisable. Um, the beauty of mathematics is found in its symbols, di ba? Right? Yes, ako lang naniniwala doon, no? So, kaya siya hindi advisable ay dahil pinapahaba niya masyado yung isusulat mo. That's one. Meron pang isa. Equations are expressed in symbols. Ito yung pinaka-importanteng uh, dahilan. Ano? So kapag hindi naka-symbol form yung given mo, medyo, kung magaling ka na, hindi ka malilito. Pero kapag medyo hirap ka na i-associate yung symbol doon sa physical quantity, mahihirapan ka. Kasi ang mga equation ay expressed in symbol form. Okay, so halimbawa ito, W equals F D cosine theta. Alam mo, anong ibig sabihin yan? No? The F is the force parallel to the displacement. The D is the displacement itself. And then the theta is the angle between the force and the displacement. By the way, the W is work. So, kung hindi mo alam na W is work, hindi mo alam na F is force, hindi mo alam na D is displacement, and theta is angle, hindi mo mai-input sa iyong solution yung mga nakuha mong given. ba? Right, right, right. So, mas maganda kung diretso na. No? Another thing, hindi laging kung saan nagsisimula yung physical quantity Yun din yung simula ng kanilang symbol. ba? So, dapat familiar ka. Alam mo, by heart, dumadaloy sa iyong red blood cells. Para siyang uh, hemoglobin. Something like that, no? Yung mga symbols na ito. So, here are some examples. So, halimbawa ganito. Given initial velocity along the x-axis. ba ang haba? Right? Okay. Yung acceleration, okay pa. Yung time, okay pa. Pero paano itong initial velocity along the x-axis? Hindi ba mas maganda kung ganito siya? 
O, oh, di ba? Maiksi, malinius, hindi wordy. Right? So, the symbol for initial velocity along the x-axis is actually V sub not M. Later on, malalaman nyo rin kung ano yung pinag-chichichigi ka kong not. Okay? Tapos instead na buong acceleration, A na lang, ba? Diba? Tapos instead na buong time, uh, T na lang, right? Tapos, look at the equation, o ba? Diba? Kumpara mo, kapag ito yung given mo, pwede kang malito. Alin yung initial velocity along the x-axis dyan sa equation na yan. Diba? Pero kung ganito yung given mo, alam mo na yung mga symbol, isa-substitute mo na lang. Oh, v not x, ito yon dito ko yun ipapalit. Ah, acceleration, dito ko yun ipapalit. Ayan, gagawin ko yun number. Tapos time, oh, dito ko yun ipapalit. O oh, diba, hayahayang buhay, alam mo na agad. Right? You just have to... Memorize, familiarize yourselves with the symbols para mas madali ang buhay. So that's all muna for today about given. Nalaman natin kung ano ba ang given, paano sinusulat ang mga given using different formats at bakit mahalaga na naka-symbol form ang ating mga given. No? Next time, we are going to discuss naman in the future the symbols for physical quantities and symbols for constants. Paano ba gumagawa, nagsusulat, nagde-designate ng symbol para mag-represent ng isang physical quantity or ng isang Constant. Yun lang muna for today. Thank you all for watching our video. Like and subscribe kung gusto mong makapasa ka ng senior high school.